So hi guys, this is GS from Tech Nautilus. Hope you are fine, doing well. It's winter time, so better wear something good to keep you warm. So I know I haven't posted any video for quite some time now, right? It's just that I've been busy with a lot of stuff that I have to take care of, right? So now <coughs> we're back, you will see a daily video. Not a long one small simple but yet I will say effective <laughs> so same goes for if I say that it's been long time since you've seen something same goes for iPad sorry Mac mini iPad is even um, yeah the new iPad is actually quite nice which on, on what the video is coming tomorrow so stay ready for that right so New Mac Mini, same shape, same size, better tooling, better performance of CPU, you know, more tools to work with, Thunderbolts and all, few major updates, but yet, is it any really worth it to buy in 2018? So if, if we go through everything, I have used uh, Mac Mini back like uh, I don't know year and a half ago. I bought it. Well, technically, I just ordered it from someone. Yeah, I ordered it from someone. I uh, did it for a run for like a month and all. At that time, I was recording 4K. Right now, it's in 1080p. All right. So, I've had at that time uh, two different monitors, both 1080p, right? So, not something huge that you have to run off, right? But I wasn't able to get even like, like if I want to, you know, render a video, it will take you forever. Even if I had like upgraded to SSD and 16 gigs of RAM, like maxed out. And by the way, that was an i7, so you can assume that was a dual tour. It was a 24, no, it was a 2012 one, which was upgradable, yes. So it was dual tour. But with the new Mac Mini, it's actually, I can say, hexa-tour. The base model is quad-tour i3, 8th gen. So, yay. So they have gone uh, away from mobile CPUs, now to, you can say, desktop CPUs, all right? Right now my ridge is uh, Ryzen 5 1600, all right, and I will post some like minor tests that I will do with both a Mac Mini and uh, you can say <coughs> sorry a Ryzen 5, both six stores. I will try to get a six store one, all right, but it will be tough in India for sure, all right. So the new Mac Mini. It's uh, it's down from two tours to uh, four threads, 20, 28 watt Haswell chipset, all right, and 16 gigs of solar RAM. That was 2014, mind you, all right. Two uh, four tour base model and eight threads, all right. That stored i3. Or the six thread and twelve six door and twelve thread so I seven with up to sixty four jets of RAM that's DDR4 uh, 2666 I'm guessing or 3000 megahertz I haven't got my hands on yet so yeah I still have to you know run down some way to find it out with hybrid SSD 128 jet will be the with the base model which as you can see not that bad yeah, not that bad. It comes with uh, 128 gig of the uh, in the base model, right? That will be um, i3 with I, I'm guessing, presuming 8 gigs of RAM. I haven't checked out the specs properly. Up to two terabyte of hard SSD, solid state drive, and Apple is known for best for their you know NVMe SSDs and all. It's quite fast to be honest. Like with four Thunderbolt 3. 
So yes, we are going towards Type C. Same goes for iPad Pro, the latest one, 11 inch and 12.9. So that's, you know, Type C. With Thunderbolt, there will be a lot more. You can say stuff that you can add up to, like more displays and RAID controller charts. Sorry, RAID uh, like RAID storage that comes like with four SSD, four hard disks in it, and you can you know transfer speed and all that gibberish. Also, you'll get two USB 3.1 Gen Gen sorry gen 1 type a's for your you know other peripherals, peripherals for your other peripherals it comes with matos mojave all right i3 8100 4 tor 4 threads 3.6 GHz, no turbo which if we consider it's still fine i'm guessing and then we got i7 8700b a 6 tor 12 threads 3.2 gigahertz 4.6 gigahertz turbo boost and i was right sorry about that and i was right it's you know 8 gigs of ddr4 2666 64 gigs of 20 the ddr4 2666 in the top model in the middle skew i will guess i'm guessing yeah in the middle skew no it's the top yeah it's the top spec and yeah, with 128J, 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. All right. With 802.11 ABGN AC Wi-Fi, with Bluetooth 5.0, 1 gigabit Ethernet, and here comes the best part for PC Master Race that was in PC Master Race for quite some time now. 10 gigabit Ethernet. I know it's not use usable for everyone, but if you have like multiple servers attached, a 10 gigabit ethernet will actually help you a lot. And with the RJ45 flavor, so yes, it will help you a lot. Four Thunderbolt 3, two USB 3.1 Gen 1, HDMI 2.0, 3.5 mm headset, at least they leaving 3.5 mm headset in this one. They removed one from iPad, iPhone, then, you know, the last, the next thing I want to see their new iPod. Will it have a headphone jack? If it doesn't, that would be weird. And the price range starts from, if I say in US dollars, that will be 7.99 US dollar to 21.99. That will be like middle skew, and the top level will be 41.99. That's a lot of money to be honest. Right, and it got every bits and pieces of, you know, macOS, and then on top of that you have T2 security chip that helps you a lot and a lot of stuff. So with the new Mac Mini and with you know Thunderbolt threes and gigabit Ethernet, what comes next is they have as shown on in the Apple site, right? So what they have done is they have stacked multiple Mac Minis like. Like I was thinking at one time that that will help and that I've actually, you know, created a desktop of desktops. You can say a freaking great server, <laughs> be honest, a great server, that's faster a lot, you can say, all right, with the, with new tool, with new, you know, 8th gen CPUs, that has been like top notch and everything and if we say it then like bring the like pure like full render form for videos or you know 3d animation and a lot of stuff that requires you know multiple cpu tools so instead instead of i will say as twin from snazzy lab showed that multiple C, multiple mac minis was that in our like big room as you can see now that was used to you know as a server or as a backup for you know a lot of stuff that requires like multiple cpu tools so imagine that at that time that was just two tools and four threads now it's six tools and 12 threads how you can create your own bitcoin machine 
if CPU then CPU chose to eat more money with the um, I'm not sure thank you all right so just you know, don't quote me on that thank you so yeah that was about Mac mini Thunderbolt 3 gigabit 10 gigabit Ethernet 6 to 12 to CPU Intel UHD 630 I really hope that they would have included you know I don't know 1050 Ti or if AMD then Radeon like I don't know RX 56 but then there will be point of cooling but as it got Thunderbolt 3 we could use like a uh, Blackmagic external GPU accelerator right so yeah so that's you know that's what sums up the video for today and I'll be back tomorrow for the video of iPad Pro 11 inch and 12.9 what's good what's bad and what's bugging everyone else all right see you tomorrow